So are you there? Yes. I'm back at this tent. Because over there um in the other tent. The second night was a very windy night and I think at the sides the cover wasn't going that far down as at this tent so the wind swept in and the whole tent was just very cold maybe also because it's a lot bigger it got colder but anyway so in the middle of the night I just swapped tents back to this one and then it was warm and I could sleep again um, and then I asked Chris who is responsible for all the volunteers if I can swap back to this tent and he said yeah it's fine and now I have this tent for myself which is great having a tent for yourself you can just spread your stuff around nobody cares so cool um, yeah I'm on duty now um, campsite duty one of the not so cool jobs because basically I just have to sit here and sometimes walk around to see if everything's okay mainly we need this shift so no people who don't have access to the campsite aka non-staff and non-volunteers don't come in here because there are lots of players all around like there are fields this way there are fields this way so there's a car park over there so although there are these fences they can easily be crossed you know so we don't want people to come in here so we need someone to take care of that that's what I'm for basically but it's made worse by the fact that I'm alone at my shift because the other person just didn't show up I mean yeah it's an 8 a.m. shift and you have to sit here for three hours I would probably not turn up either but I did turn up because uh, you know felt responsible somehow oh yeah today is the election about Brexit whether or not Britain should exit the European Union no going back if Britain quits European Union I have my radio on me I just turned it a little silent um, yeah at least I get to do other stuff like writing a letter because some people want me to do that so I'm gonna do that oh man I'm so glad I came here for a few more minutes until I go to the post office to hand that in because Austria was playing Sweden they were 8-10 behind I saw on my phone because back in Austria people of my club have a look at the live scoring and they keep each other up to date and so I also read that um, because I have mobile internet here because I have a good contract anyway um, so uh, I read they're 810 behind that it's a close game and so I came down here and then I saw the last few points Austria three breaks in a row and uh, then a finish with a cross field hammer from back there to over here Chaplin of Geisel both players from Graz not from our club but from Graz uh, pretty cool pretty cool oh yeah yeah good that I came down here very very nice I liked it all right but now I'll walk to the post office and afterwards hopefully watch the beginning of the mixed game but only the beginning, because then I'll have to work for sight again. Leaving sight. Bye bye. Off in the real world. I do not want to go to the supermarket over there. I do want to go to the post office. So let's find out where this way leads us. I have to say, this is quite a walk. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I made my way to a dangerous place with deep water and steep banks. Do not leave path. If you get lost, nobody's gonna find you because nobody knows where the fuck you are. You don't even know yourself. Google does know, but Google doesn't give a fuck.
I mean, it does look nice. A little bit of sightseeing. And we are on High Street, which means halfway. It's getting hot. All this walking. All right. After a 40 minute walk, I'm finally here. I hope I should be around that corner. Oh man, I hope you appreciate this for all the effort I went through. You know who you are. You know who you are. All right, post office. I can see it. Found it, I'm here. We'll, we'll get this. All right, it's done. Now walk all the way back. <sighs> and I mean, I could have, instead of coming here, you know, watched some games or something. So, really, really hope that you appreciate that. And I don't know where I'm going, but general direction north. I think, no, south. This is south. I'm walking south. General direction noise from the motorway. Well, that looks safe. Completely safe. Got it! Back on track. I just watched the GB USA Masters game. And on my way back, I came around this field, the Guts field, because it's also the Guts Championship here in London. And I think that was the final. I heard somebody talk about final. And it does make sense that Japan versus US is in the final. <laughs> so I just watched it. And it. I mean, I have never played Guts before. I didn't really know the rules. I still don't. Um, but I get an idea. And it's basically two teams hitting these discs at each other and the other uh, team needs to catch it. <laughs> now you might say, well, that's boring. There's no running and no layouts, but <laughs> there is running and there are layouts. And it was pretty cool to watch, so I enjoyed that. And now, I think it's time for me to see the beginning of an Austria mixed game. So the day is almost over. I just finished a six hour sight shift. It was fine, it was fine. Um, hold on. 2 minus 7 is 5. It's a 5 hour side shift. Anyway, didn't feel like that much. Because um, it was fun. It was actually pretty fun, this shift, because I had a good partner and I had a good job. Those are the two things you need. Um, the good job involved riding around with a buggy and bringing water and ice to the pitches so I don't have to handle rubbish as I did yesterday and also I can ride around in a buggy <laughs> that's so cool um, and the good partner Kelly um, I don't know why but the Scottish girl is pretty fun I liked working with her and she also let me watch the games, like whenever we are done with all the pitches. Um, so at the start of the games we bring water and ice to all the pitches. And then basically we wait for people to radio us that they need more ice or water. And until that happens we are basically free to do whatever. Um, and she didn't mind watching the Austria game. And so I could watch parts of the Austria game. First, Austria Open played against Belgium and then 
Austria mixed played against Belgium. <laughs> the first one lost in universe. I didn't see, but then I, I found out lost in universe with a great comeback at first, but then lost in universe. And then Austria mixed, they won their game. Yes, go mixed. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And that's basically all I wanted to say anyway, because my battery is empty. I will get cut off again, but as it turns out, the vote is tomorrow and we will see if Britain will exit. So, till tomorrow, bye bye. Oh yeah, and make a backup. Okay, now you can go off your stupid battery, not in the middle of a sentence, for fuck's sake.